Dreams CD-ROM by Joanna Sheen because there's a gorgeous picture in here of an angel with uh, as a mother and her babies etc and I thought that would be a really lovely image and it's this one here and I took that because and I basically cropped the picture to very tight into that part so you couldn't really see her wings or anything um, you just saw her holding the babies and then I reprinted that much much smaller so that I would get it within the frame here so then I've cut that out to a rough oval and I've stuck it in place down here a little bit of white there but that doesn't matter it's just where I cropped the picture down I didn't need to print the whole image out so then I've stuck that down and then I'm just going to place that over the top and that's going to be our lovely framed picture. Okay, so I finished filling that up. Now, as you can see, I've sort of made it come off the top of that quite a lot. And I've obviously got to be quite careful when I put it down that I don't squish it so much that it squelches all out the side. Because what I was trying to obviously achieve is that it sticks quite solidly because it's quite a weighty piece, but without... Now that must be reasonably straight because it's touching the point there and there. So now let's just straighten up the actual side so it's pushed down evenly. There, I think really I might just leave one alone. There we go, that's our picture frame done. Now that really does need some time to set so I'm going to leave that overnight. And we'll come back tomorrow and do a little bit more. Hey guys, just a little update. You can see um, I've made the baby's room sign and I literally just took some of my hunky dory card in the pale blue, just a little scrap and it was already kind of thin already so I just cut it off the end and then I just took the corners off literally with a pair of scissors. I added two little gems at the side which are kind of meant to be the part where the string is hanging from. I then added the baby's room, the baby's part, which was from a set of stickers that I just got from a from a local um, like gift store. It wasn't even a craft store, so I just popped those on because I thought they were really fun with the little um, polka dots on them. And then I added the word room by hand. And then I then realised, having stuck it down, that I should have put the... the twine underneath so I lifted it back off and put my twine in but it was actually two pieces I didn't because I wanted it to really make that V shape I actually didn't make it as a one piece because what happens was that the, unless you literally use a um, brad which I hadn't done you're not going to get that shape where it really looks like it's hanging down because obviously in order to look like it's really hanging it has to look like it's taut so it has to have that V shape so I used a tiny tiny bit of my glue gel and I stuck them in place at the top here and then I put a teeny teeny piece more of the glue gel on top of it and popped the button on which is obviously meant to be like the nail through the door that sticks it in place and that's also in the polka dots so that worked really really well. Okay so now we're going to make our skirting so I've taken actually this was a piece of the frame that I had left over from a spare one that I'd cut for the frame on the door so I've just taken that that seems to be working quite well so then I'm just going to lay that up against the door frame here and just make a little mark and then we'll cut that to size like so and that's to go there but in order to make it look a little bit more like a real frame I'm going to cut another piece like um thinner piece to go along the bottom here. Let's see, this piece might work. Yes, so just like that, that was a spare piece that I had there anyway. So then we put that along the bottom and that just gives the sort of dimensional look. So we're going to glue that So we're going to glue that down on here. Like so. 
so nice and carefully. And then just leave that to dry. You can see? And then that will go there. And then we should have enough on the little piece just on that's overhanging, hopefully. Yeah, that will do that edge piece as well, so that'll be good. So while that's just drying, we'll cut a piece for here. Just cut this piece off. And then we can use that piece just to adhere onto that bit there. And then carefully with my scissors, I'm just going to cut that excess off. I'm going to let those two pieces dry and then I'm going to use my glue gel and I'm going to stick, oops, stick those two down to make my skirting. And the glue gel will just give it, again, a little bit more dimension. Okay, so I've now created my picture rail for the outside of the card and I've also created um, like a border for the top to be like the different colour because that's often the case is that it's not papered, it's just painted up above these picture rails so I've done that and then obviously I need to do my corner sing at the top as well but that I think I'm going to do on the Cricut because I want to do something a little bit more ornate so we're going to stick these two down that in place. Now obviously this overhangs the side here but that's not a problem, we'll cut that off later. I just want to make sure it's in the right place. There we go. So I'll let that all set and then I'll cut that off. And then the next thing is my picture rail and again we're going to put the glue gel on this but I'm going to do this a little bit more depth to it and then we're going to pop that down like so I think now we just need to leave that to set for a bit and while that's setting we'll go and cut our picture rail off up uh, on picture rail we've done the picture rail we'll go and cut our cornicing on our Cricut Okay, so now I'm going to cut out the cornicing part and I'm going to be using this sophisticated cartridge which is a really really nice cartridge with some loads of lovely beautiful cuts on here and I'm going to be using this fleur de -lis border here so I'm going to be cutting it out on the white hunky dory card so let's get going so it's the border feature key which is already pressed and it is okay so it's button three I want it to be at let's try three quarters of an inch but that may be maybe too small let's try okay and we've got everything else at maximum I'm going to take the speed down to medium though because it's a little bit more detailed load mat Actually, I won't have the patience for medium. Let's put it on high and press cut. Let's see if this will work at that size. If not, we'll put it up to three quarters, uh, one inch. Only. So let's unload the mat. Yeah, no, it's a little bit too small because it's not cutting out the. It's actually overlapping the cuts, so it's pieces are broken off. So we're going to try it at the next size up so let's hit uh, load last and let's put it up to an inch and try that and then repeat last it actually cut fine the last one it just um, was slightly too tight so it, it uh, as I say overlapped okay I've done it now at an inch and a half because again it cut out beautifully but when it got to the border part it wasn't linking it was too tight so it was breaking off and I put it up on my front page there and I actually think it looked quite nice being slightly deeper anyway so it's just because I really had my heart set on this particular design for the front so let's try and unload the mat here oh yes no that's going to be just fine I can see that's fine okay so as you can see I've now attached that fleur-de-lis that I cut out on the Cricut onto the top of my 
front of my card and I think that looks really really pretty and I think that's just finished that all off now beautifully on the front so that is the front of the card done and now we're going to get on and work on the inside <laughs> 